everyone, I'm Carrie Evenson and welcome to Carrie on Canvas. You know, I was thinking about life and the people we meet and the friends that come and go and those that stay, and then there's that one friend that you just bond with. A friend that, you, that can finish your sentences or knows that something is wrong even when you say you're fine. They're the type of friend that becomes family and shares life with you. And sometimes we meet them early on, sometimes it's later. Either way, you know you were meant to meet them when it happens and how lucky we are when we find them. So tonight, I'm painting a piece in honor of friendship, and I hope that you will paint with me tonight in honor of your friend, and remember to cherish them. Here's what you're going to need. Medium-sized canvas, medium to large paint brushes, assorted acrylic paint, paper towels or rags, don't forget your water to keep your brushes clean, and remember to enjoy the process of creating. Just let it flow. And I can't stress that enough because that's something extremely important when we're painting is just to enjoy actually the process of a, putting the color on canvas and having fun with it. So here I have my, my canvas already toned and I sketched out two friends and they're just kind of having fun in the city, having a good time. Um, I'm going to uh, just apply some paint loosely and kind of see what happens. So let's get started. I'm planning on using colors of blues and reds and oranges and things like that. So if you have those colors handy, that's what you could use. Otherwise, make your own palette. So we have some blue, a little bit of white, mixing some color up. And I'm just going to start by painting all around here. Applying it thick and taking the paint off of the building because that's not what I wanted to do. And watch how easy this is. You mess up, look. Oh, how about that, huh? No worries. See, and you were stressing. There we go. Okay, so we come back in. Add some blue. really love blues and oranges together. Of course, if you're familiar with your color schemes and your color wheel, you'll know that those are complementary colors. Just a base coat here. back in here in a bit and you know add some more um, whites and blacks and things like that into the colors. For now we're just kind of working our way up. I've done another piece similar to this. Um, it was the woman with the umbrella. Some of you have probably seen it. And um, I really, really loved the colors with the city background. So this is kind of a part two of that piece. Just going around the body part, you know, their waist and arms and filling it in a bit. And now I'll come in with some white. Even some black. Kind of graying the blue a bit. I added lots of different things on this piece too. Um, I added some texture, which is like a, a texture, a medium texture gel, acrylic gel that you can order. You can go to Hobby Lobby, which is a local craft store here, and I think there's some local art supply store that have them. And you just basically apply that um, on your canvas, and you can add different texture to it to make, you know, uh, before it dries. And then when it dries, it's this hard kind of glue-like feeling and you can paint over it and it stays forever. It's great, 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 great stuff. I added tissue paper and I added twine and just things that I've found of interest in my studio. So coming back in with a little bit more black, I wanna darken this up down here. A little bit of white.
Okay, so getting started here. Come down with this darker color, violet, and some blue. See how I'm just applying big strokes here, not anything specific. We're just kind of covering the canvas up first. That's, that's the goal here. Come back in and do the finer detail once you get your basic coat down. So I'm going to move to a bigger brush because I'm not covering enough canvas here. So here we go. Some blue. See how I'm applying my strokes? I'm not making too much of it. All right, now I'm gonna come in with some more black. Like that. Okay, so you can see there's the base coat right there. Now, Rinse my brushes out good so I don't have gross colors blending and making some awkward brown. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna go with some red, some red orange. Let's start with red first and see what we end up with. Big glob of it, look at that. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. Get your uh, brushes full of paint. Take some of my yellow. And head over this section. We're just kind of filling in here. What I'll do is start adding more yellow throughout the piece. Wish I had a blow dryer or something to kind of dry it so you could see what it looks like when layers are actually applied, but that doesn't work. All right, take more and more yellow. Fill it in around their hair. And yes, I'm painting over them. Their hair is getting covered, but you know, we're gonna come back in and add it so it's no big deal. All right. Works for now. Another thing I like to do too is when I have my colors blending, which is all I'm going to do right here, this blue and red's gonna all kind of be blended in, so I'm not gonna make a big deal about having to separate um, the two colors. So the paint's really wet right now and it's kind of muddying up, so we're just gonna hold off. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow and white up here. This will be my, my skyline of some kind, maybe. Okay, so now I'm going to start working on the dresses and I'm going to go with a bright yellow for her. Maybe yellow orange actually. Oh, let's go with this color. Got a magenta. Makes a different kind of orange rather than taking the bright red. more. 
gonna come up through here, make her dress go around her neck. She has kind of a halter dress on. And we'll come back in and add some, some light to her in a second. And let's see, for this girl, I am going to take just strict yellow and white and make a very bright dress. I really want them to pop out and I really want to stay within the, the orange, yellow, blues tones. I'm just kind of putting on the base coat right now. This is what I love about um, having texture on my pieces too. It makes it fun to kind of paint around it, kind of get this nice interest to your piece. This is later you come back in and add the details of the dress. Okay. Now, I'm just kind of scribbling in where I want the hair to go. And then scribble in up here. I've got such thick coats that I just can't help myself. All this thick paint, it's just hard to resist. It's like a, being a little kid doing this. Okay, now work on skin tone. Just, oops. I'm going to just lightly paint in the legs. I think I have this girl wearing boots, so I don't really know how far her legs are going to go down. They have longer bodies than most people, <laughs> but I like abstracting my figures, so it's really um, kind of my thing. You don't have to do that. It gives it a little bit more freedom when you're painting also to abstract the bodies. Okay. A little bit lighter. And we'll, I'll come back in and straighten out their, you know, their legs a little bit better. This is just their base coat. So the good thing about painting is you can just kind of work around things, especially with acrylic. It's a lot easier. It's a lot more forgiving, which I love. So here comes their arms. Sometimes it can be hard to get the skin pigment right. There we go. Okay. Let's see here. Add maybe a little bit of shadow underneath the, the neck. And under here. Okay, now I'm going to go into the hair trying to get as much coverage as I can for y'all so you can see a little bit more about what it kind of looks like or will look like when finished, getting closer to.
This girl has a really big head, so we have to work on that later. When I say abstract, I don't mean like that abstract where their heads look like aliens. So <laughs> that's something I have to work on. It's a little bit difficult to see because my painting's pushed so far up. We're getting there slowly. Okay, now, I'm glad to try to work on this face a little bit. I'm just gonna carve out where I think it's too big, just like that. Makes a difference. And try to come back in with some hair. There we go. Okay, so next it is time to add some light. And this is where the detail part comes in. Probably a little too big of a piece to work on on the show. I'd like to try to come back and finish this one if I don't get it finished today for you guys. And let's see, we're going to add just a little bit of red through here. I always tend to choose the difficult pieces too when I'm filming. I just get so excited because I want to share everything with you guys and then I forget that I only have so much time to work on it. Maybe I can hook a camera up in my studio at home with paintings I don't finish and post them for you guys on my YouTube page. And I think I'm going to go with a, maybe a bright red belt for her. dress. Hmm. I think maybe a teal will be good. That is a nice color to pop out with that orange. And there we go. Okay. So we need to add a little bit more highlight here because at least if I can get some of the dress done, you can get a bit more idea of the picture. Hair and skin and all that, can you can imagine that yourself. If I don't get to it. We just come under the breast and add a little bit of shadow. Just the slightest bit of color like that at, makes a big difference in a painting. Even under the waistline where the belt would come in. It's a lot of maneuvering when I'm painting here. With the lights and the glare, I feel like I'm dodging things. Okay, let's see. All right. And let's see, okay, now, gotta get in gear here. I'm going to try to add This really cool color in the piece, which is my favorite teal. And this violet for this color. Oh, 
Okay. Now, we're starting to get somewhere. I'm going to add, look at me rushing, going crazy here. Don't feel like you have to do this at home, okay? Taking some black, and I'm making my tires. I added this little bit of twine in, in the uh, painting to kind of go around the tires. I thought it was kind of cool. Gives it a little bit more dimension. Okay. Now, Adding some color in. This is a way to test if you wanted to <laughs> gain some speed in your painting or really loosen up, you could set a timer at home and, and see how fast you can actually paint. You'd be surprised what you can do. You can see the slightest bit of you know, color makes such a difference to how I'm just adding these little tiny details. And they're not perfect, they're not perfect little lines, perfect little shapes, but they're enough to let you know that something's there. So I'll take the end of my pencil, or my paintbrush, I mean, and this might take a little longer. And I thought, I guess I'll have to plan things out a little bit better. All right, now moving up to the buildings. Let's go here. I'm just gonna slightly add some yellow here and there, especially maybe a little bit of white as well uh, to the fronts of the buildings. back with my blue, add some more. And we're getting there. Hopefully some of you will be able to use your imagination as to what the finished piece will look like. I'll finish it for you and I'll post it on my website or on my, um, my Facebook page so that everybody can see. I have a Facebook fan page by the way too that always has updates of my art and what's going on with art shows and things so if you want to find me on there just type in my name. It's under I think Carrie Evenson Fine Art. Love that Facebook, it's a great marketing tool. All right, now, um, let's see, we need to make their boots. So I had this idea that she had some boots on. that were bright red. And that she had some teal heels on. Adding a little bit to the face 
into the arm. And before I forget, I made promises to some special people in my life to say hi to. So I'd like to say hi while I'm finishing up here to Maddox, Melanie, and Mavia, and to their new special friends, Charlotte and Corbin. So hi to you guys. Hope you're being good. All right, one more attempt with this hair because it looks like it dried a bit. And of course, you know, when I'm working on pieces like this, um, the skin tone and everything would be uh, a little bit different. Flowers in the hair. So, getting there closer, closer, closer. We will definitely have to make sure that this piece is posted on my site for you all, because it'll be a fun piece once it's completely finished. I love working on figurative work, love it. And I love doing the black highlighting also. It's really, really fun. So I guess that's all we have time for. You know, it's a sweet thing, the bond between human beings, whether it's between our soul friend or even a stranger, we all have something in common. And that's something that we all share and that need is to create. It's just who we are. And whether we create art, design clothes, make furniture, write novels, we all want a way to express ourselves. It's truly a beautiful thing and something that should not be taken for granted. So get out there and make your creation, whatever it may be. If you have any questions or comments, you know I'd love to hear from you. So feel free to email me at soverycary at cox.net or you can go to my website at carryevensonart.com. Please join me again on Monday and Saturday evenings at 7.30 right here on Jones Television Channel 22 or you can visit us at jonestv.org. Until then, I'm Carrie Evenson and you've been watching Carrie on Canvas.